Can you calculate the speed limit of this hill? So the math that we do is we know that there's a force, gravity pulling the car down, mg, and there also is the reaction force pushing up through the tires in the bottom of the car. And for this car to remain on the road, we need the reaction force never to get to zero. So what we do here is to calculate the resultant force, the differences in the forces, is that we need to do mg minus r, the difference in those two forces, will equal mass times acceleration from the equation f equals ma. So what we want, again, is we don't want the reaction force to go to zero because that's when the car will come off the road or lose contact with the road. So we're going to model it for when r does equal zero so we can see what that maximum speed is. So what we're going to do now is we see that mg is going to equal m mass and acceleration. And because circular motion for a hill, we use mv squared over r. Now you can see it doesn't matter what mass the car goes over the hill, or if it's a truck or if it's a lorry, because the mass doesn't matter. All that matters to calculate our maximum speed there is that we do the square root of gravity times by the radius of the hill. And gravity on Earth, we always use as 9.81. We do 9.81 times the radius of our hill, which is 5. And we do that math in your calculator, you should come at a number of 7. So just double tick it, you do square root of 9.81 times by 5. And we get an answer there of 7 meters per second. And that roughly equals 16 miles per hour if you're in the UK.